What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create a simple moving obstacle. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so first of all, let's right click on the content browser and create a new blueprint class. This is going to be an actor that's going to be placed in the world. And let's name this something as BP underscore moving obstacle. And let's open this up. Alright, so first things first, let's actually add the mesh that you want to be moving around. In my case, I don't have one for this video, but what I'm going to do is just use a simple cylinder. So let me just use a simple cylinder. And here we go. We have a basic obstacle over here. Now, let me go ahead and just place it on the level so I can see how big it is and change a bit the scale. And I think it's pretty good. What I would just want to do is just make it a bit uh, higher. So on the Z only, I'm going to increment it by two and then move it so it's right on the ground yep and then i can just put it on the ground and yeah all right this is pretty good okay so this is going to be the obstacle this is going to be moving from left to right okay and it's going to be very simple so of course there is a million of approaches on how to do this but this is the easiest way by far and also one of the most efficient ways okay and it's through a component so if we go ahead and search for interp to movement this component will allow us to move the whole actor or a mesh of the actor from one point to another, all through a component, through presets. It's so easy that you don't even imagine. So I'll compile and save. And now as you can see, we have some controls. First of all, the duration. So how you know much time will take this obstacle to move from left to right and then um, backwards. Uh, essentially only from left to right in this case maybe a bit faster so like 0.8 this is what you want to play with then of course you have the control points so in this case we want to have two one on 0, 0, 0 which is the point that this is right now but then a second one with a bit of offset so for example on x we could put like uh, 100 and that means that this will move 100 x units to the right uh, in the relative location and then it will go back to the other point but that's not done yet because we want to go into the behavior and instead of one shot which is you know moving from a to b we want to do ping pong which is a to b b to a a to b and just essentially like a loop okay and that's pretty much it just make sure that you have auto activate on so it's enabled and once we compile and press play you can see that the obstacle is moving from one place into another and obviously you can expand this to be maybe a bit more and of course change the duration it's a bit faster but yeah it's pretty pretty cool and obviously there's a lot of different things for example sweep if you want to check for things in the middle we want to disable this because otherwise if there's like a collision in the middle this will stop and it's gonna just simply bug everything okay um but yeah and also you got things about the teleport type once again, the behavior, you can do one shot only if you want to do that. You have the things for the speed and uh, simulation and a bunch of more extra settings that I will not go into that. But yeah, it's uh, pretty, pretty cool. Now, I want to show you one last thing, because right now you're kind of guessing where this second value is going to be on the level, right? We don't know what 300 units is pretty much. So let's make one thing that will make it exact. OK, so first of all, let's get the second point click here and delete okay we are only living the 000 point and then on the variables let's create here the uh, destination location and make sure that this is a vector okay because we want to have the location and then we want to also enable this eye icon and then show 3d widget this is very important so we can see a 3d widget on the level now when we do this and click the blueprint you have this new widget over here so let's say that this starts right here and then i click this uh, widget and move this widget to here so that means that now the cylinder will go from here to here and we actually see it there's a visual representation on the level which is very very cool and very important so now obviously how can we tell the movement component that the second point will be towards this location well we have to just go to the event graph delete everything except the begin play so when the game starts we'll get the interrupt to component and add a control point uh what's it called yeah control point point 
and we got a couple things is the add uh, point uh, control point they basically changed the name to be uh, position 2 which makes a lot of sense and we just want to get this and put it over here now make sure that you have position is relative enabled because obviously this uh, location is inside the relative object and now we go from one point to another but obviously <laughs> it's crazy right it's too too fast so we want to go here and go to interpret to movement and just you know put something that actually makes sense maybe three seconds is a bit too slow but you know 1.5 maybe it's a bit better and there we go we got this optical and obviously this can be anything you want you can change the mesh make a child customize it whatever you need so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're actually looking into learning on green 5 effectively join my unreal club with the link in the description and now yes we all said bye bye Thank you.